Stacy here with craftaholicmama.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a pillow box from the We Are Memory Keepers pillow box punch board. And I'm going to use this lullaby paper pad that I'm working on right now. And one of the measurements says it needs to be at 6 inches and the other measurement can be 4 to 12 inches long. So I'm going to just use a 6 by 6 inch piece of paper. And the first thing you need to do on the 6 inch edge is um, line it up at that green start line that comes down the middle and with this punch board you do get a bone folder that's included in the little stash away um, area on the board so once you line the edge up with this start line you're gonna punch and then you're going to score it around that curve and then down the side and there's little markings on the board that show you where to do it Next, you're going to move it over into that, it fits naturally into that curved notch, or nook it's called. And you're going, that line should then also line up with the little pointer. So then you're going to punch again, score around the curve, and score down the straight line. You're going to do this three times on each edge. <coughs> Once again, move it over to that nook, punch, score, and this time you don't need to score down because you're at your end. So you've got the three um, ovals. Now you're going to flip the paper over, it tells you to do, and turn it around to the other straight edge that's opposite of what you just did. And you're going to punch, line it up with the start line, punch, score around the curve, and down the straight edge. And they should all match up. And as you can see there, I kind of poked through my paper a little bit. I'm going to fix that in a little bit. Punch, score around the curve, and down the straight line. Again, line it up with the nook, punch, score around the curve, and this time you don't have a straight line. So then you're going to get these ovals on your paper. And then it tells you the next thing to do is to punch out the thumb holes or the finger notches. And you want to do that on the middle um, oval. All right, now I'm just going to clean up my sc scraps. Next thing it says to do is to take a pair of scissors and remove that half oval. So you're just going to trim along on that um, curved score line and you're going to remove that oval. And this is going to create your your flap where you tape it shut. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so now I'm going to fold it up and score it with my Teflon bone folder. Reinforce those score lines. I'm not going to do the curved ones yet, but some paper, as you know, when it doesn't fold very well, it cracks and tears. So I'm taking some of my micropore tape, and it's it's a fabric-y type tape, and I'm going to just kind of reinforce those edges and those score lines from the back of the pillow box so that it doesn't continue to crack and tear any further. So I'm kind of saving it because some paper just doesn't like to score and um, fold very well. Now I'm going to take some score tape and I'm starting it here on the wrong edge and then I realize that I need to be on the edge towards the body of the pillow box. I'm just going to run it along that tab <clears throat> Pull off the liner, and then I'm going to fold the box over and line up the edges. Once I do that, I press it firmly to get that tape to seal. And now I'm going to fold in the edges. You want to start with the finger hole, and you just kind of fold it inward and gently work on those score lines, those 
curved score lines and crease it pretty good. And then you fold over the other edge and fold that up very well. And here I noticed that one of my edges is kind of bulky and it doesn't want to fold very right. So I'm going to open it back up and I'm just going to trim it a little bit with my scissors just to get it to fold a little bit nicer. Just taking a sliver off. And I'm going to try to fold it back in and there it folds up a lot nicer. Sorry I'm off frame here. <clears throat> Alright, and then I'm going to repeat on the other side. Start with the finger notch side, fold that in, gently coax the curved score line, and then fold over the other edge. And this one seems to fold up very nicely. Pinch it a little bit in the, at the corners, and there you have your finished pillow box. Now you just need to decorate it. I'm just going to grab some ribbon, and I'm going to wrap some ribbon around it just from my stash. You can decorate it however you want. You could put a belly band around it. You could add some die cuts. However you want to do it. I'm just going to take some simple satin ribbon and I'm just going to do a single knot. And then at my picture at the end, my still picture, you're going to see where I added a matching die cut from this line. Um, it has a ephemera pack of matching die cuts that match the paper line and I just pulled out a bunny and I just added that to it underneath the ribbon so you're going to see that in the still picture. Please feel free to check out my blog once again craftaholicmama.blogspot.com and I thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you'd like to see more and thank you and have a great day.